federal authorities were spending the day in East Palestine. Those who live and work there still struggling for answers. First News senior reporter Jerry Ricciuti has that part of our story tonight. Owners of the Enchanted Salon in East Palestine admit business has been off this week since they reopened Monday. They tell me they've been asking the same questions as their customers. We want to know if is the water safe? Our clients are asking us, is the water safe? Can I come in there and have my hair done? Sharon McDaniel came in today thinking her brief exposure is much less than what others face. I'm just worried about the people that stay in town and their children in the long in the long run. Um, so that would scare me more. But the ladies say they're upset with stories. The railroad laid new track over contaminated soil to get the line open sooner, calling it a Band-Aid approach. I think it's horrible. I think they need to rip it all out and do the proper thing and take all of that toxic soil out of there. Young people here in town say they too have been at a loss for information just like the rest of us, saying the last place now they trust for information is social media. I think that, again, you shouldn't listen to Facebook. I think you should watch the news and educate yourself. I don't really think that, like, people's rumors you should be listening to. Both Leela Martin and Alexis Robb grew up here in town as they and their classmates try to learn more about what's happening as well as getting their lives back to something close to normal again. They realize this month's train wreck has put their community on the map. Instead of south of Youngstown, we're going to be East, East Palestine, Palestine, the East like trail derailment town, but I, I'm proud of our community for coming together. Perhaps a silver lining of sorts. In East Palestine, Jerry Ricciuti, WKBN 27 First News.